We are like less than three weeks out from the show, which is just crazy. Just got back from work around 12 o'clock now. Uh, we were there for like four hours, but anyway, that first meal you saw of the day, that was breakfast, meal number one, very high in protein. Um, I don't feel like, you know, I wake up feeling, you know, somewhat energized, definitely hungry, but you know, I have enough energy to get me through, through work up until the pre-workout meal. So it's a more protein uh, heavy meal. So it was 235 calories and like 39 grams of protein. And it was just, like I said, pork, Greek yogurt, and a low fat quesadilla. So pretty darn solid. And then also took my creatine this morning, creatine monohydrate, five grams of that. And then before we went to work, we took this, which is just a fat burner. Um, so the reason I take that, it suppresses appetite. Of course, you know, it has a little bit of caffeine in there, a couple other ingredients that are supposed to help with, you know, burning fat. You know, since I'm not eating for four hours, that's probably my biggest gap of the day uh, without food. Figure I'd take that to suppress the appetite a little bit. Also moving around a lot. It's like a mile and a half there and a mile and a half back of skating and walking. And then I'm walking around quite a bit while I'm at work. So good amount of cardio. So I figure I'd take that in the mornings while I'm kind of on somewhat of an empty stomach, but we're down very low now, 1,550 calories. Uh, so hopefully the progress we make is crazy. I've noticed a lot of progress in the last few weeks at 1,700, um, but gotta you know keep going lower and lower since I am three weeks out, like I said. Uh, which is just crazy, super excited. Uh, but we're gonna eat our pre-workout meal in just a bit here. Get some oats, my favorite meal of the day probably. All right, so here we have everything set out for a pre-workout meal. I've made this before, and I'll make it again. It's pretty simple, we got instant oats. Just one pack of this. And then we'll go and fill up with some water, microwave it, and add everything else. All that's microwaving. I just gotta say, the rice protein, really, really good. This is chocolate moon pie. I've seen other flavors that look better from rice, um, but I just saw this at Walmart, thought I'd pick it up and try it. And I really liked it. It's a lot better than other whey protein powders that I've had before, so definitely give it a try if you haven't yet. Uh, we're just going like half a scoop of the, of the protein. I don't throw too much in there. About a tablespoon of peanut butter. And then this, some people think it's weird, but Greek yogurt, super good. You don't gotta add too much. I just add in about a tablespoon of that. A little bit of extra protein, makes it a little bit more creamy, makes it better. Optional, but it is really good. And then finally, a little bit of honey in there makes it a little bit sweeter, a little bit more enjoyable, gives us a bit more energy for the workout. Man, I'm excited to eat this meal. All right, so this is what we're working with. Uh, pretty filling, or I mean, I wouldn't say super filling. I would say it's as filling as it can be, uh, being that I'm on the cut. But we got 244 grams of protein, or 244 calories, 22 grams of protein. I'm losing my mind. I swear I can't even. I can't even think of the most. I don't know. Simple things. It hurts my head at this point. Tasty as usual, though. Super solid pre-workout meal. So our workout is completed for the day and uh, just devoured that built bar. I was starving because I haven't eaten for a couple hours now. It was a long time at the gym. We spent like probably three and a half, let's see, 
almost four hours, you know, with travel. Currently for the day, we're sitting at around 800, or no, we've got 876 calories left to eat. I've eaten 674, which is pretty low, and uh, 82 grams of protein. So we still got a little bit. It's five o'clock, so not a lot of food yet. Uh, So we ate that built bar, but still gonna eat a full meal post-workout. Gotta get some calories in me. Um, so nothing crazy, probably just chicken, like a chicken mushroom kind of wrap thing. You'll see as I make it. not eating mushrooms and you're on the cut you should the reason I like them so much is they taste really good they add a lot of flavor to like you know wraps or whatever but they're also just like a really good base they kind of fill you up a little bit super low in calories a little bit of protein you can't go wrong with mushrooms you gotta eat them if you're not another quick tip is to cook your chicken over low heat trust me it'll come out a lot more tender if you just like crank up the heat you're most likely gonna burn the outsides and uh, it's, it's just tough to do that when you can't add, you know, oil and butter to the pan. You're gonna burn your chicken if you crank it up and it's not gonna be very tender. It'll be pretty tough, pretty dry, so just low and slow and then crank up the heat at the end once it's cooked through just to kind of get a nice, I don't know, crust on the outside if you want to. So we got like 85 grams of protein here, or 85 grams of chicken, which doesn't sound like that much. It's not really a ton, uh, but since I'm having around six meals a day, um, I can kind of, you know, spread it out a little bit and we got other protein sources such as fat-free mozzarella. The carb counter tortilla is honestly pretty solid. It has like six grams of protein. So, you know, there are other sources, still a good amount here, but you know, it, it's not a crazy amount of chicken, but it's enough to do the trick. That's just going to go right on to our wrap. We have full meal looking pretty darn solid, if I do say so myself. Cucumbers with a little bit of stevia and cinnamon. And then we got our wrap here. So this entire meal right here comes out to like 250 calories and like 37 grams of protein, I think. So it's pretty crazy, super good. Uh, the cucumbers, nice and filling. And the cinnamon and stevia makes it taste better. It's like a little treat. And uh, I mean, yeah, a lot of people do that boring, you know, chicken, broccoli, rice diet, or just chicken and broccoli. That's not something that I personally feel like, I mean, I could stick to it, but it'd be pretty miserable. So I still eat foods that I enjoy. You just gotta modify them a little bit to fit, to fit your uh, kind of guidelines as far as calories and macros go. And then while I eat this, I've got my, uh, what I started doing last week, little planner here. I plan out the coming days and I find that as I do that, you know, I, I'm able to follow a schedule a lot better, a lot more productive, a lot less waste of time. Uh, so just trying to maximize productivity and it seems to be working. So if you're trying to, trying to, you know, waste less time, plan out your schedule the previous day, it will help. Trust me. All right, so for dinner, we just had some Greg Doucette French toast, watermelon, and like chicken taco things. Pretty, it was a good good amount of food. I had a lot of food left that I could eat. Um, and at the end of the day, we came out to 1,551 calories and 210 grams of protein. Pretty solid overall. Um, I'm still really only tracking protein and calories, but you know, once peak week comes around the corner, we'll be tracking everything, fats, carbs, protein, sodium, all that kind of stuff. But pretty solid day of eating. Hope you enjoyed. That's what my diet will look like for this week and probably next week. And then we'll jump into peak week. 
then it'll be showtime. So super excited. See you next time.